Man, that was beautiful. We should have that engraved and put on the wall. Tell me about misters. We're of the little folks. I don't know misters, what is misters? We're the ones who actually do the real work around here. We're just simple folk caught in the crossfire. We come here to get out of the rain and drink ourselves piss drunk before we head out. Come back and then do it all over again. Misters are the kind of people that wind up in a dump like this. People with money don't come here. People with connections don't come here. Yeah, so misters are the rich people. The, people. Yeah. To the big shots in town, we're worth less than the blood-stained dirt under their boots. Bunch of corrupt hoodlums. That's what they are. Hmm. So when you guys head in back out? Well, we can't right now. Or we probably would. As long as the lighthouse is bust, we are stuck in port. Yeah, the Frankly, lighthouse is open. They really can't leave. To get back out there. Sure, we gotta make a living. But a short break is well deserved. Ain't it, Gimbo? It sure is. That lighthouse can stay broken for all I care. <laughs> Stone the crows, mate. I'm starting to get fed up to the back teeth of catching eel. What happens to the eel? Yeah, Most of it's sold off like bound ships. Some stays down here for refining. You can make all sorts of stuff out of eel. Steaks, like? liquor, plastics, medicines. They're pretty strange creatures, come to think of it. From eels, medicine from eels. That's that's wonderful. He's, he's British. Or Scottish. You guys ever go to St. Armando? Ah, no way. We haven't got the right permits. And even if we did, the Beko can't handle the locks. She runs too deep. Oh, I'd love to go someday, though. Get out of this it's bloody British. suit once and for all. It's British accent. What are the locks? Aye, the locks at Pango Kubwa that lead up to St. Armando. You got special ships going through there. Eel trawlers can't go through them. They just aren't built for it. Mm. We're doomed to be stuck down here forever. Might as well just deal with it, I guess. Bye. See you guys later. No, no good information. We got, we got some information, but not much. Radio. Hey, can I play with the radio? Eh, yeah, go ahead and change the station all you like. You know that there's an old Army Broadway radio. It can pick up all sorts of things. It's pretty good to have in handy when the coppers are around doing raids and such. Ah, huh. that's the numbers we are looking for before. You remember the the upstairs radio? Doesn't play anything. There's something with the radio well, here and the radio up there. Well, ain't a new guy in town. Welcome to our fine establishment, where the drinks are divine and the clientele <laughs> are a slice of heaven itself. Flattering, Arnie. Very flattering. Now, what can I get you, sir? I hope you're not looking for eel wings. I'm all out. You've got my word, however. The moment the lighthouse starts again, I'll be out through that door in a split second to secure a couple of crates once the shipments start coming in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any idea how can I get into the club? Any idea how I could get into Club Timber? Listen, it's good to sir, know. All I do is pour them their drinks. I don't ever go up there. You pour their drinks? What do you think this here service shaft is for? Oh, they you can go through that. They keep sending me orders, that. and I keep sending up drinks. Club Timber sits right on top of this joint. Now, I don't service all of Club Timber, mind you. Just a VIP lounge up top. Now, I'm not proud to be part of their business. <laughs> but a man's uh -oh. got to make a living, though. So the service shaft leads right up to the VIP room. Uh-huh. Bingo. Okay. Do we do we actually need any information from him? Um, sure. What you know about Barlow? Ah, Barlow. I hear a lot of talk about him on both sides of the fence. A bartender gets to hear all sides of the story, you know? Law is down on that man more than most people think. 
He has made a lot of enemies in this town, I know that much. I'm used to hearing a lot about people's woes. I can tell you, many, many of those woes are about run-ins with the law. And the law in this town is Barlow. That one guy. I want Eelerins. I'm sorry, sir. I've gone dry during the big blackout. Shipments aren't coming in the way it's supposed to, not the lighthouse is out. But once it starts working again, I'll run off and buy a whole new crate of it. You have my word, sir. Alright, because she does not coming in, that's why. Busy night, busy night. Busy night? Uh, afraid not, sir. Business has been real slow ever since the lighthouse went out. Yeah, these fellas are the first customers I've had all day. All city's gone to a standstill with no misters in port. These parts of the city used to be a good racket this hour. It's a real drag seeing it all dead like this. Language, Mr. Language. Um... What you got on tap? Right now, I'm down at the lower end of nothing. Caps and shelves are all sucked clean. I normally carry the full range of Mr.'s poisons here, except mist fumes, of course. But without the shipments coming in, I've got, I got nothing. nothing. I okay. got to hit the streets. Give him hell, sir. Oh, he, he got something. I see the book over there. Hey, can I use your elevator, please? I need it to get to Club Temba. <laughs> sir, this is no elevator. Drinks going here, not people. Not even really pleasant people such as myself. <laughs> Sorry, sir. As long as I'm here guarding this bar, this here food shop is out of bounds. Can we put the food inside there? Man, that's not gonna work. Can I give it to him? I don't think. Okay, let's get the book. What you reading, Gimbo? It's the captain's navigation book from the ship. The one about all the misting business and the lighthouse and all that. I found this picture of a lobster here. Can't stop staring at it. I'm so bleeding hungry. Oh, what I wouldn't do for some lobster stew right now. You didn't get any food yet, man? Yeah, I'm gonna give him the lobster. Closed, this air. Oh, okay. Can I borrow the book? Rack off, mate. It's my lobster. Can I give them the lobster? Hey, look what Master Chef Buana cooked you. Oh, golly, Buana. That smells delicious. Can I have it? Is it for me? It's all yours, man. If I can borrow the book. There oh, we go. Captain, can he have the book, please? My lord depends on it, I swear. Go ahead, Buana. We've got plenty more of those. I have a feeling you're going to need it. Oh, I don't know thanks, why the guys. whispers are not working. I don't know. Lost. Ah, that was the book before. And we want to get to the radio. Introduction, home port, the catch, equipment, navigation, mist, map, celestial navigation, starcraft, danger. I don't know. Looking for some numbers over here. Okay, so mystery bit for walking the mist. You remember the hook? Probably they need they need the net. And this is the numbers. 451 or 452, 621, and so on and so on. Losing one way in the mist has become incredibly difficult. The lighthouse has provided so reliable in fact that many a vessel no longer carry the common equipment generally according okay. So which number is it? FR, LC, NR. Probably if I if I go up there, it's gonna be somewhere saying that. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Navigation over here. 452, it says some other things over here. Hmm. Huh. I'm not a genius, but I'm trying to think. Pingo. I 
I think we are here. It says like a number 100 over there. I'm not sure. That's an elephant, that's a snake, that's something, and that's something. That's a leg. Or a fox, or something. What the hell is this? Okay, that's, that's very weird. Hey, it's a picture of St. Armando! Yeah, it's an old, outdated old man. People like to dream themselves away with pretty pictures, you know? It's been hanging there forever. You can have it if you want. Thanks, man! I love free stuff! I love free stuff, thank you. It's an almanac with pictures from St. Armando. Man, these pictures really glorify the place. Okay, gotta go to the toilet again, so be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's continue. No time to be hanging around in the bar now. I've got to rescue Lena. I know, I know. I was thinking if you if you're gonna do something with that. I don't think that That's gonna fly, I got you. Um I'm not sure what we're trying to do here. I'm trying to put the food inside there. Hey guys, who's hungry for some fatitos? Did someone say fatitos? Okay, Wanna I'm gonna give them the fatitos. I think you best keep them to yourself. The poor man has had some pretty bad issues with those in the past. So they, they don't want it? Hey sailors, how's it going? Hey Buona, what's happening? Oh, 300 confirmed keys. I'm trained. Okay, you do you, bro. You See do you. you. Hey, you do you. Hey, boy. See well, you I, I, I can't talk to them anymore. What a mist fumes. That's some bad stuff, sir. It's a byproduct. Comes out of the D still in the bill rinse. I tell you, you get all sorts of whack ball effects taking that stuff. We call them fume heads. That used to be a much big Barlow cleaned up the worst of the fume head trash when he came in. Came into the power, okay, whatever. I want eel rinse. I'm sorry, I've gone dry during the big black. Shipping sign coming. Once it starts working. Okay. I got to hit the streets. Give him hell, sir. It doesn't help us at all. I, I don't think there's anything that I can give him, so let's move on from the from here. I have a question though. Kimbo, okay. Drain. There is a drain over here. Man, that's not gonna work. I don't know what's up with the. It's a floor drain. Yeah, I've gotta comply with the Port Archu Hygiene Directive. This eel rinse is considered hazardous waste. <laughs> Should we cut the door open or something? I wonder. It's too tough. It's too tough. Can we cut it? I don't think that's gonna help me get it open. Yeah, I I know. The pigeon is back. Oh. Probably we're gonna feed the pigeon for some reason. Probably want a nacho? I don't know why I did that, but I did it. 
Oh, gross. It's an old plunger. A plunger. I'll stick it in my pants. Let's go there. Let's make it work then. I think the drain is empty of yuck. Yep, the floor is as clean as a hound's too. But come payday, oh lord knows we need that drain. The misters are splashing booze and yuck all over the place. Eh. Aye, it's the circle of yuck, Buana. The circle of yuck. The circle Mr. of yuck. Mist. It's a floor. Yeah, it's here. So I can't use the plumper in that thing. I think the drain is empty of yuck. Yep, the floor the come payday. Oh, the mist. I hits the Okay. Heel. Okay. There's hey, the sewers there. Hey, where's all the drinks? I'm sorry, sir. I've gone dry during the big blackout. Shipments aren't coming in the way it's supposed to. Now, once it starts working again, I'll run off and buy. Yeah, I know or, or, already that. I'm thinking if there's anything that I missed around the place, you know. You guys on the chat talking about gibberish over there. Man, that's none. Alright, you don't wanna break it, you don't wanna do that. Alright, let's go back. We definitely cannot go there yet. That's a cinema. It's a movie team. It looks like a maybe it opens later in That door is not gonna open, the lighthouse no. Let's go to the guys over there. I don't wanna burn that. What do you it's wanna do with that? It's an almanac with pictures from St. Armando. Man, these pictures really glorify the place. How's it going, fellas? Doing great now with the fire. What you know about- Hey, you made some good friends in port already, eh, kid? Yeah, he gave me a nice big hug on arrival. <laughs> that Barlow's a real tough one, ain't he, Vince? Yeah, he's been cracking down hard on anyone who wants to hold on to what's theirs. Any poor sap who tries to meddle with his affairs winds up with good old Port Archu lead poisoning. Yeah, you can't Working the docks someone. used to yeah. be duck soup before he turned up, but now he's got dogs biting us in every corner. Was difficult enough back when only the union and the mobs wanted a slice. Now that the coppers are in on it too, it's tough times, kid. What do you guys know about Club Temba? Temba? Kid, that clip joint is as far out of our reach as the moon. We've been on a nut as far back as I can remember. You gotta spin some big cabbage to get in there. Cabbage? Money, kid. Forgive me for saying so, but you don't seem loaded enough for that joint. Hmm. I gotta go. They don't help me at all. How's it going, fellas? Do it. I gotta go. No help or so ever. I'm, I was thinking to burn that, but I don't think. Alright, let's go to the let's go to the guy over there. A truck hauler is here. Hello, truck hauler. How you doing, bro? Good to see you back to the stream. You're gonna keep time out yourself as long as you put uh, links on the chat. Yes, that's that's a thing. How am I? I'm I'm very good. It's against the rules to post links on the chat. Man, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna. I was thinking to give it to him. I think that's what he hey, wanted. The book. What do you make of this, man? Well, what son, are, what are we a playing today? We are playing a... This is exactly what I need. A story oh, mode golly, game. I almost had it right all along. It's gonna I be up, up to on YouTube, YouTube as well. With the main cog and switch on the doohickey over there, will ya? There, she's spinning. What a beaut she is! How I've missed that wonderful grinding sound. Warms my old bones, it does. Thanks, son. I owe you one. Now we're just missing the actual lantern, and then Old Faithful can get back in service. You can turn the machine off for now.
So he turned on the machine now. How's it going, old timer? It's not going anywhere, I'm afraid. Let's find some more information about what's Rather going on over here. Rather stationary indeed. Any other questions, Trackholder? Uh, it's a story mode game, it's a click game. Uh, it's gonna be up on YouTube as soon as I'm uh, done editing and, uh, you know, recording all this, so... Uh, good to see you over here and uh, I hope you enjoy the game. That is correct, Keza. That is so... That is so correct. What, what do you, do you need, need again? again? Well, the machinery itself seems to be ready to start up. All we're missing is a lantern. A lot I'm afraid the Sisulu's ruined the old one. There's nothing worth saving there. Okay. You know anything about Club Temba? And the Temba Club is where all the top players in the city go to mingle and share fancy cigars in the evenings. Mobsters, smugglers, coppers, bankers, and politicians. And they're all down there greasing their wallets. Club is down on Main Street, but don't get your hopes up, son. It's I wanna a members go in. only club, and you've got to push a lot of capital in this city to get invited. Oh Jesus, a lot of money, huh? Nice broadcaster you got up there. The broadcaster. Sure is, son. Got a little bit of an extra income spinning tunes and commercials from up there. Landed me a brand new used mattress from Lonnie's it did. It's practically stain free. I'd let you have a lie down, but it's still a little moist. This here lighthouse is pretty much the ideal radio tower. Mm. You can fill just about any frequency from up here. I've got the I best know. broadcasting point in all of Port Artu. I don't know the Except number. The clock tower, of course. But that thing has been out of commission as far back as I can remember. Hmm. We need to mess around with the radio up there. I'm not sure what we need to do. Uh, let's continue asking him questions. What's with the clock tower? Oh, it's just kaput and the mayor won't pay to fix it, that's all. I haven't heard those bells tolling for many, many years. Guess it isn't a top priority for the mayor to get it running again. Mm. He's too busy spending the city's money down on Main Street to have time with those kinds of things. <laughs> what can you tell me about this Barlow guy? Police Chief Barlow is the head of police here in Port Artu. Yeah, he's a policeman. for a long time. And the city crime rate has gone up every year since he took over the department. Doesn't sound like a very good cop if you ask me. Hey, the worst kind there is. Everyone in the city knows that he trades justice like a potter trades... Uh, pots. And he's got a lot of powerful friends who like to keep it that way. They don't come much nastier than that. He's the one who got the whole department rotten with corruption. Yeah, yeah, wait for it, wait for it, mister. Wait for it. Let me about the mayor. Tell me about the mayor. Oh, he's just another corrupt cog in the machinery of big government. Oh, all of just them are corrupt. another one of the Jesus. puppets being played by the folks up topside in St. Armando. What do you need it? Well, the machinery itself seems to be ready to start up. All we're missing is a lantern. Lantern. I'm afraid the Sisu... There's no... The lamp up there. Okay, see. All right. All right, let's go up there. The the issue with the radio that we don't know yet is what frequency we're gonna put it. That's the issue. Like we have a lot of numbers over here. We have the discs over here. I've got them. They're here on Main Street at local Lonnie's used. Oh, Kingdom. I see what you mean. Go over here now and grab them while they're still here. What are you waiting for? Go get them now while the offer's down. Ah, this is like an advertisement. We're gonna put it on the... Can we change this? No. Let's put it on the, on the number that we can remember. Like a 960. Okay. Uh, Thank you. 960, or should we go lower? Because I don't remember what the last frequency was on the... Okay, look at this. I have an idea. What? 
It's gonna be 960. Let's go out. That's what I was thinking. 960. Let's go. Let's go to the bar. Because I was thinking that as well. Uh, inside there, probably. Yes, inside here. 960. 960, it's over there. And then we're gonna make the guy inside there to go and buy something or whatever. Maybe. I've got them. They're here on Main Street at Local Lonnie's Used Mattress Kingdom. Go over here now and grab them while they're still here. What are you waiting for? Go get them now while the offer stands. It's a bargain. I've got them. They're here on Main Street. Let's talk to him. Yo! What can I help you with, sir? Mm. I got to hit the streets. Give Wait, him a if I told, Yo. if I tell him about the ales, is he gonna go and get it? I want e I'm sorry, I've gone dry during the big blackout. Shipments aren't coming in the way it's supposed to, not the lighthouse is out. But once it starts working again, I'll run off and buy a whole new crate of it. You have my word, sir. But the radio. I got Give him a hand. I've got them. They're here on Main Street at local Lonnie's used mattress kingdom. Go over here now and grab them while they're still here. What are you waiting for? Go get them now while the offer stands. Hmm. It's a bargain. What do you think, guys? I've Is it them. something They're wrong? Here on Main Street. Should we use a different thing? Because I thought that that's gonna do it, right? Another radio... Radio disc? Hmm. It has to be that one. Like, we are running out of options and the only thing that I can think of is that one. Let's see. Let's see the rest of them. Let's see the rest of them. Yeah, rape disc. Like it's a it's a normal music. You hear it? Then this one is in the normal music. Then this one is normal music. It's something to do with that one. Somebody once told me, okay. Unless, unless we fuck up with the radio. Huh. Huh. Because the frequency. I think it's this one. This one is the one that has to I've be. got them. Let's go. What are you waiting? I've got them. They're here on Main Street. Man, I the got Latin, The Latin is broken. The radio, yes. The... Man, this... The wind is so it's loud. I guess it's been... Can we hang something over there? Man, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Okay, let's go down here and see what we can do with the... It's with an this. almanac with pictures from St. Armando. Man, these pictures really glorify the place. Really glorify the place? Man, that's not... That's a modern ship there. Hey, it's Hello, a little Steven. miniature Jamaican ship. Jamaican people are back. How did you build all those tiny little details? That is true. Oh, that was easy. Hello, Steven. Rounding up the crew was the hard part. <laughs> uh, we are on the chapter two. That there is a model of the old Mistraker. The Mistraker? Tis an old sailor's tale. The legend of the old Mistraker. She was a proud vessel could bend the mightiest eels to her will. The captain of the ship was as mad as they come. He was out to catch the biggest eels of them all, the Hungries. What happened to it? The Hungries, the hungries. tore the crew to shreds and left nothing but a ghost ship drifting in the fog. Legend has it if you lay your eyes on the Mistraker, 
Don't let her out of your sights. The moment you turn your back on her, she'll be gone. And your life with it. And their model is supposed to bring me luck. But it sure hasn't paid off so far. <laughs> spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. You can have it if you want it. It will make a nice souvenir. Wow, really? Oh, cool he this. gave it to me. Okay, can I put this now? No. I don't think that I can. Doesn't... Yeah. I'm not drinking eel bladder tea. Okay. Don't need to say it in such a way. Um, okay, hi, we'll see you later then. Hmm.